Hi there, and happy Sunday, friends. Today I wanted to record a video about my most used favorite makeup of the week. So I have here a cute little container I got from the container store. It was like 12 or 15 bucks, and I love it. It holds so much. So let's get started. First off, I want to talk about my most used face product. So, normally, when I'm not working, I try to keep it as simple as possible, but I never ever forget a primer. My favorite primer at the moment is Laura Mercier's Protect, and it's got SPF, but it doesn't give you, like, a white cast, it doesn't have the smell of SPF, and I really like it. It's lightweight, and it's amazing under any foundation. I'm not really going anywhere or doing anything special. My next favorite product is a tinted moisturizer, also by Laura Mercier, and I am in the color Fawn. It's actually kind of getting a little bit too dark for me since it's getting to the season where I'm not on the sun as much, even though I live in Florida and I'm not really, not really tan. But anyway, so tinted moisturizer is a must-have for me. Next, if I need more of a fuller coverage, I sometimes will go between like a silk cream foundation by Laura Mercier, or lately I've been absolutely loving Clinique Super Balanced Makeup. This is amazing. I am in shade 02 Fair. Yeah. And it's great for normal to dry skin or even oily skin. I have a really oily T-zone, and I have it to be dry like on the outside of my skin, so it's kind of like a weird mixture. But this is really, really great for all skin types, so I've been loving this. And then for concealer, what I've really been loving is also by Clinique, and I can't believe it. I haven't used Clinique in years, but I've really been loving their airbrush concealer pen. As you can tell, it's really similar to YSL Touche Clot, and I believe L'Oreal and Maybelline make a drugstore version as well. But it's just like a highlighting pen concealer you twist up, and I'll do a little swatch for you so you can tell. Super highlighting, it's moisturizing, it's concealing, it's Perfect for under the eye area. I highly recommend this. Then you got this at Ulta. It's like 19 bucks, so not too bad. Next, she says my under eye concealer. Holy Girl Product Alert. Laura Mercier. This is their Secret Brightening Powder in number one. What this is, is a light reflecting powder that goes underneath your eye. Don't want to spill it. But it's a really super fine and milk powder. It's amazing. A little dab will dig it. You can put on a fluffy blending brush and just go right underneath your eye with it or just pat it in. So nice. Your eye, um, your concealer won't crease. It won't melt off your face. It will stay all day. Love, 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 love. And then to set my whole face, another Clinique product. No, I don't work for Clinique. <laughs> I'm not getting paid by them. But I absolutely love it. I just found this powder and I'm totally hooked. It is their Blended Face Powder in 03 Transparency. I just use a big powder puff or a, like a caboose and I just dust this all over my face. It's amazing. I don't want to open it because it's going to go everywhere, but love. Next. Oh, I forgot about this. This is supposed to go to concealers as well, but we'll backtrack. Laura Mercier's Secret Camouflage for all over the face. There are two colors that you use to blend. This first color right here is your base color. The second color is usually lighter. You mix these together on the back of your hand and then you use that mixture to just use all over your face. This is not for under your eye, but it's beautiful for all over your face. How could I forget about this? Next product is a powder foundation on days that I'm like super lazy and I don't want to worry about like a liquid and I just kind of want to grab and go. This is another product for Laura Mercier. It's the powder foundation. This is in number four. The lighting's probably a little off. I'm right in front of a window getting natural light. It's kind of getting, oh, you can see me. There you go. <laughs> but anyway, it's kind of getting too light for me. I'm um, sorry, too dark. Um, I'm losing a lot of my summer color, so I'm probably going to have to bump this down. Because right now, this is at a number four, and I'm probably going to have to go to like a two or a three. But I love it. So another product recommendation. Okay, moving right along. Other good face products that I've absolutely been loving. If you follow me at all on Instagram, you can follow me there at that lovely girl Ashley. My holy grail bronzer slash contour, whatever you want to call it, more of your face product is by Laura Mercier. 
is her matte radiance bronzer. This is in color number four. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so finely milled. And it gives the most beautiful, you probably can't even see that, glow bronze to the face. Absolutely love it. I will buy this oh, forever. Another thing, this is actually pretty new for me. I knew it existed, I just didn't have it, but it's a Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour blush. This is in the color Exposed. I absolutely love this. I actually have this on my cheeks today. I love it. It gives me such a beautiful, natural, like warm glow. And for the fall, must have. If you don't have it, girl, go get you some. Okay? All right, next. This is another new thing. This is from Clinique. Absolutely gorgeous. Peachy toned pink blush. This is in Precious Posy. Absolutely gorgeous. I know, I'm like the worst blusher ever. <laughs> but if you want detailed swatch posts, I can do this on Instagram if you want. Just let me know. Beautiful color. Absolutely gorgeous. I recommend. Another product from Laura Mercier. I work for them, so I kind of have a lot of her stuff. But anyways, it's a beautiful... Um, this is called an Illuminating Powder Quad, and it's in the color Coral Red. You can see the most beautiful colors, and you swirl them all together, you can get a beautiful pink, like all over warm pink glow. We love this product. Next, another pretty new product to my collection. Yes, it's what everyone's been talking about, the Hourglass, what is this, Ambient Lighting Palette. Super hard to get your hands on. If you were able to get it, congratulations. This is a trio of their lighting powders. So let's see if I can do this right. This is dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. I believe this is a limited edition color just for this palette. But anyway, so what these are used for is they can be used all over the face as a cheek highlight. Um, to warm up the face, to set your face, um, to set your concealer. It's just up to the person using it. I personally really like these for cheek highlights. So, if you can still get a hold of this, get it. Last favorite highlighting product, if you guys know me, it's the Stila Kitten Duo. In love, obsessed. It's the most beautiful duo of colors. This is like a darker bronzy one. Let me see. Not really sure. Really bad at this. But anyway, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see that. That was terrible. The most beautiful, beautiful highlight shimmery colors for any skin tone. I love it. I had this on my cheekbones today. Okay, moving right along. This video is in 100 hours long. And if you're still with me, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, next one. The last drawer is like the rest of the face. So we've got eye stuff, eyebrow stuff, lip stuff, things like that. Okay, so I'm just going to pull out random. All right, so the two mascaras I've absolutely been in love with lately Let's see, is, I think this is by L'Oreal. Yeah, L'Oreal the Butterfly mascara. Can you see that? Gorgeous. i got to show you the wand if you're not familiar with this. This is amazing. Check it out. Weird, right? It's good stuff, though. It claims that it's supposed to help wing out your lashes and give them, like, a butterfly effect. I don't know. I'm using it today. It's the only mascara that I use. I didn't layer it today like I normally do, but so far, I really, really like it. And then, as usual, Laura Mercier Full Blown Volume Mascara. I just, like, I can't get enough of it. It doesn't really look like anything special with the wand. But girls, let me tell you something. This is everything for your lashes. Whether you have long lashes, short lashes, full lashes, thin lashes, this will transform it. I love it. Total Ashley recommendation. Okay, next. My favorite brow product at the moment is the Dior Show. Can you see that? Probably not. Dior Show. The brow styler and I have mine in the color Universal Brown. This is very reminiscent of like how the Anastasia brow kit or the brow pencil brow is. There you go, that's the name. How they just roll up at a super, super fine point. And you just where am I here? There you go. It's just like super fine flicking motions to fill in your brows. Absolutely love this, even with my um, dark red hair. It's really nice. 
And then to set it, absolutely nothing special. You can find it at the drugstore for like three or four dollars. Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. Total staple must have in my freelance makeup kit, um, my professional kit for clients, and my personal kit. Love it. Okay. What else? So much more stuff. <laughs> My favorite eye primer at the moment, this is just a sample, but I got it with my Lorac Pro Palette. This is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. Absolutely adore this. It's clear. It looks like nothing special, but makes everything stay on super great, and eye colors blend out beautifully. Okay, next. My favorite palette, I think of all times ever in the history of palettes, would be my little baby Naked Basics palette. I have the other Naked palettes, and I love them, but for some reason, I cannot get enough of this one. It's the most basic, like, really nothing special palette, but all of these colors are matte except for this first color, which is Venus. Yeah, that's a really great brow bone, but we have dark black, darker brown, a medium brown, which is the most perfect crease color. I am so shocked I haven't hit pan on this yet, but anyway, um, I just love all these colors, no matter what eye color I'm using. These all, this always ends up somewhere on my eye. Love, love, love. Can't live without it. Next, a couple more things from Laura Mercier. You know, it just is what it is. This is um, one of the part of their holiday collection. It's a limited edition petite baked eye color bonbon. Super adorable. Come in three different colors. They have a bronze trio, which is this one. They have emerald and an amethyst one. I have them all and this one is like my go-to. Super neutral, super gorgeous. This is actually like a duochromy color. Love. So gorgeous. I use this a lot too. Then my favorite color for an all-over lip color is Laura Mercier Baroque. Just like a simple, no-nonsense, kind of shimmery brown color. Beautiful. I'm using that one like almost every day. And then if you need to be out the door in five seconds, which is me sometimes, um, Laura Mercier, where am I? Ooh, there you go, for caviar sticks. I have amethyst and smoke right here. Super easy peasy. These are like all over eye crayons. Super creamy, glide on beautifully. Best watcher ever, I know. <laughs> and then, right now for the holidays, they have like a little mini set, and so I just grabbed one. This is in rose gold, I think. Super gorgeous, like a highlight color for all over lid color. You see that? Pretty, pretty. My hands are mess. Fun. Okay. Next on, more products from Clinique, because apparently I am obsessed right now. But two of their eyeliners, um, I'm wearing this one today. This is their Quick Liner for Eyes Intense. This is in Smoked Plum. No, Intense Plum, I'm sorry. Just a beautiful, like, plummy color. I'm running out of room. You can't really even see that color. So beautiful. I have it on my upper lash line today, and I blended it out. Really gorgeous. And then just, like, a basic black. Super smooth, super creamy. Love. Can't go wrong with that. And last but not least, three lip products. Oh, sorry, four lip products. I can't count. That I just can't live it out. Two are from Laura Mercier. Um, this is a limited edition box from the holiday collection. Beautiful, duochromy, holographic. It's totally on trend. Just love this. This is in pink prism. Let's see if I can swatch this for you. You see that? Oh, beautiful. Over red, pink. Violet, purple, I mean, this is just beautiful on anything. I love it. Last but not least, no, I'm sorry, not last. I still have three more products that I'm talking about. This is another Laura Mercier limited edition lipstick for the holiday collection. This is in Mocha Mist. Yep. And I'll swatch for you. Just beautiful, like, 1990s Cindy Crawford brown look, which I'm totally loving right now for this season. It's so hot. Another lipstick I've been loving is Calvin Klein lipstick. This is in lip lock. Beautiful, like, it's on my lips right now. Ah. Kissable, juicy, plum color, gorge. And then another Clinique product, because, you know, we need to throw another one in there. 
This is their almost lipstick and black honey. Apparently one of the most like popular colors they have. I'm running out of room to swatch. Right there if you can see it. No, that's a terrible swatch. Anyway, <laughs> lighting's off, swatches are off, nothing is great, but hey, it's my first beauty video, so what are you gonna do? So anyways, if you've made it through this entire video, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below what video you'd like to see next. And until later, I'll see you guys.